Welcome to the library. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dark Cheshire's Madcap Fan Fiction Library. Grab a seat, a cup of tea, while I pull a story from the shelf. When you're going swimming in those waters of fan fiction, you find some strange fish. Um, infamous fan fiction stories like My Immortal uh, are one that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm here to explore with you even further into the land of the odd, the weird, and the hilarious. Um, and I'm a little mad here, so uh, to help keep my sanity, I will enjoy reading the random. Book after book, Sephiroth felt his sanity slip away from him into boiling anger as he discovered more and more of the truth. He barely felt present in the real world and could only think about betrayal, the corruption of mankind. Horrible thoughts swarmed through his mind, making him want to do nothing more than destroy. Okay, not how I expected this to start. I'm kind of familiar with uh, Kingdom Hearts and if you don't know Winnie the Pooh, you're weird. What happened to your childhood? Uh, but. Anyway, is Sephiroth always this angry? One moment, please, while I ask an expert. Hey, yeah. Yeah, um, about Sephiroth, mm, yeah. Okay, Elusio, that person who shall not be named, oops, I say, um, is Sephiroth crazy? No, excuse me, is Kingdom Hearts crazy? Um, they have figurines, a whole, whole lot of figurines. Um, and they say that dude is bat crap crazy, in character. Severoth slammed yet another book to the ground, yet another book that gave him the horrific answers he sought after. His fingers glided over the bookshelf, and he pulled out a thinner book than the rest, titled The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Sephiroth's Mako-infused eyes widened as he traced his hand over the cover, which glowed with the mysterious Materia aura. That may be material, without the L, or Materia could be a Kingdom Hearts term. Too curious to move on to the next book, Sephiroth cracked it open. A loud explosion accompanied by a blinding flash of light caused Sephiroth to leap backwards and nearly crash into the bookshelf behind him. On lightning fast impulse, he drew Masamune in preparation for battle. So Masamune is Sephiroth's sword, and I guess stab first and ask questions later is Sephiroth's gig. Lucio promised me he is in character. He is the embodiment of darkness, um, of another character's darkness in the Kingdom Hearts series. Bear, said a living stuffed bear that somehow emerged from the explosion. Okay, that's probably not bear, but it's a bear symbol. Let's try that again. Rar, said a living stuffed bear that somehow emerged from the explosion on the defensive prowl. He put his stuffed arms up as Sephiroth threatened him at the tip of his seven foot sword. Oh bother, please calm down. I'm going to die. I'm gonna make it my alley cats. The bear symbol as words just makes the voices in my head say, a wild poo bear has appeared, like it's a Pokemon game. Um, but I think it's supposed to be rar. Um, that's what we're going with. Speak, said Sephiroth with a cough, <clears throat> squinting through the debris in attempts to get a better look at the small figure. I was minding my own business, looking for some honey in the Hundred Acre Woods, but Pooh batted his beady plastic eyes and licked his chops. It seems like I found something sweeter. So Sephiroth is um, 2D character hot. He, he's, he's up there with Kakashi Hataki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is white haired. I've got a white haired 2D husbando fetish. Okay. I just... I just realized that. Okay, and I guess he is hot even to stuff bears, unless it's not a euphemism and Pooh is going to eat him because he's a bear. Pooh was never carnivorous. Now I just made this story even more fracked up in my brain. Sorry, maybe in your brain too. When Sephiroth's vision was fully restored, he became enchanted by the bear's seductive gaze. Sephiroth lowered his blade and cleared his throat, stammering, 
<clears throat> Who are you? I'm Pooh. Who are you? Sephiroth looked at the ground in defeat. A pawn. A mere puppet used to do others' biddings. Here's the million dollar question. Is it really bestiality if both of them are cartoon characters and one is made of stuffing while the other is a person's darkness personified? Shrugs all around for me, but maybe you can answer it. Dropping Masamune with a loud clank, Sephiroth approached the stuffed bear and kneeled to the ground, slowly stroking the fur on his face. He whispered in his stuffed ear, but I think it's time I take control of my own destiny. Is it really bestiality? Oh dear, you still never told me your name. Mankind is pathetic, weak, and manipulative, Sephiroth continued. He pulled Pooh into a passionate kiss, which Pooh hungrily accepted with a deep, animalistic moan. Sephiroth broke the kiss and stared into Pooh's blank eyes, panting. But you... You're different. I'm a stuffed animal, said Pooh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a stuffed animal, said Pooh. I'd rather like to know your name. I'm not that kind of bear. So guys, I'm still worried Sephiroth might get literally eaten and not in an adult fun times way. Sephiroth, but that hardly matters. I can be anyone you want, honey. With a determined gaze, he slid his hands up Pooh's shirt to massage the fur on his chest with skilled hands. Sephiroth felt his pants get uncomfortably tight. Masumune isn't the best sword on me, if you know what I mean. Oh, bother, Pooh shivered, holding back a moan. You're making me rumbly in my tumbly. I dare anyone to use you're making me rumbly in my tumbly during adult fun times and then let me know how your partner reacted. I just, I need to know this. This is scientific. Why don't we take this somewhere less drafty, purred Sephiroth into Pooh's ear as he stroked his face. Pooh gave him a look of sheer dominance and Sephiroth planted a kiss on his nose and held his stuffed hand. I was just about to set this entire town on fire if you would like to join me. Then we can get down to business. Pooh smiled as best as a stuffed animal could. There's nothing in the whole world I'd rather do, especially since it's with you. <laughs> there is a picture of Pooh romantically gazing into Sephiroth's eyes as Sephiroth is holding him in up to his face because, you know, Pooh Bear is kind of small compared to the very tall Sephiroth. I'm going to have some weird dreams tonight and I just hope it stays with them burning the world down and not getting anywhere near where this story was going. I don't want to know about them getting down to business. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. Anyways, honestly, that was a fun one, and I have offers of other fan fiction to read from all different genres. Post a comment or send me a message on uh, Twitter at teacups underscore trash. You can also find me on Instagram at teacups in letter trash. Um, or you can find me on Discord. Uh, the links will be in the description, um, and we can think of some more entertaining fan fiction to add to the library. I may need a stronger tea, maybe with some adult beverages, um, to make it through, but hey, we're already mad here. Let's go even crazier. Talk to you later, Alley Cats. It's foggy from this vapor Every single day is just a struggle for the paper Take away my problems which they came with an eraser Hide them all away so I can smile when I face her Shut up.